on the question, why would our loving God allow people be in hell? Last week, we tackled the reason God created hell and it is simply intended for who? For Satan and his followers, his angels, right? We also talk about the Satan, that Satan is real by identifying him through the Holy Bible. The scripture was not talking about the king of Babylon because in, in Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 15, the Holy Scripture says that he was first blameless created remember when we go back in Ezekiel 28 verse 15 he was created not born so he was so the Holy Bible was not talking about the physical king but he's also talking about Satan Lucifer falling falling from sin amen for this being said no king on earth no human being was created except for Adam and Eve. Amen? Amen. Remember that? Hallelujah. In addition, these two people were not identified as the morning star. Who was identified as the morning star? In Ezekiel, it was who? Satan. Amen? Amen. In, this is our, our question now. If God created hell for Satan and his company, then why there is hell for people? Why? Let's open our Bible in Isaiah chapter 5 verses 11 to 15. Isaiah chapter 5 verses 11 to 15. I'm going to read it on King James Version. It says here, Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink, that continue until night, till wine inflame them. Verse 12, And the harp and the vial and the tap, tap red and pipe and wine are in their feast. For they regard not work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of His hands. Those people who are really rejecting our Lord, right? Verse 13, Therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. And their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Why? Because all because of sins, amen? They're yeah. loving the sins. They're captive with sins. They are bondage in sins. Verse 14, Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. I'm going to repeat it again. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their power and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. It means that what? Hell become what? Bigger, right? Man. Because of what? Because yeah. of sin. And anyone who rejoices, in, it means anyone who's swimming in sin will be what? Descend into it, will be sent there, will be sent in hell. Verse 14, uh, verse 15. And the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled, and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. Amen. In other version, in verse 14, it says there, uh, enlarge herself. Hell, therefore, the word hell, uh, in other version, it says shol or siol. I don't know how you pronounce it, shol. In short, that is like grave. In, in, in other words, it's a grave, right? God never created hell intended for human beings, just like what we had talked about last week. But God created it for Satan and angels. Amen. If that being said, what we have tackled last week, then it, it means God has no doing of enlarging the hell. Mm -hmm. Remember in verse 14, it enlarged herself from from because of the things that that uh, Satan is like saying, like he's ex extend like an extension for the for the kingdom of of hell. They're doing their their business of expanding it because of the sin of man. Amen. Amen. So it was the devil who actually created or make it enlarge, right? Amen. Hell is waiting for multitude of souls that take delight in sin or sins. Now, this is another question. Why would Satan do some hell extension for people? Why? 
John 10, verse 10 to 29, King James Version. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I come that they might have life. Who? Who is that? Jesus Christ. Amen. And that they might have it more abundantly. Yes, In Lord. short, Satan's mission here on earth is to steal. What he's going to steal? Steal things that God has prepared for us. Amen. Amen. He's going to steal the joy that anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. That anyone who is in Christ has eternal life. He wants to steal that from us. Another Amen. mission of Satan is to kill. What he's going to kill? He's going to kill our faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. He's going to kill our faith in God. That Jesus Christ is the only answer. And finally, if we, if a person does not believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, that Jesus Christ is the only way, He's going to destroy the soul. And wow. He's going to bring that soul to the to hell. Amen? Amen? Bring Hades to eternity. We have to remember last week in Ezekiel 29 and Isaiah 14 that Satan was first blameless until he was found unrighteous. It means that sin was originated in uh, to in Lucifer. Amen? Amen. Question. Isn't it God is all powerful and loving? Why would God allow Satan to do these things to people? Mark 8 verses 34 to 38. Mark 8 verses 34 to 38. It says here, then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, If anyone will come after me, after who? After Jesus Christ. He must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Verse 5, For whose, whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his Father's glory and the holy angels. Now, what God is saying here is that God has given us a freedom of choice. If if we're going to gain the whole world, we have this fame, we have everything that we want, we have the richness, we have this and this and this and that, and yet it will cause us to block, to be closer to God or it will cause us to go to hell. What will happen to our soul? What will happen to our soul? Amen? Amen. Now, some 96 verse 13 Psalm 96 verse 13 it says here let all creation rejoice before the Lord for he comes he comes to judge the earth mm -hmm. he will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness and yes it is true that God is all powerful that God is our is a loving God he also gave us the free will that is actually love if God will not give us a free will that's not love that is very controlling do you want uh, do you want do you want to be controlled all the time no you you feel like choking right but God has given us a free will whether to take or whether to reject amen amen now the word of God of what we have read before before is that we have to deny of ourselves. It means we have to deny of me, myself, and I. Amen. In short, we have a choice. Are we going to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth? Are we going to obey him? Or are we going to reject Jesus Christ? Whatever our choices, whether we believe the gospel of Jesus Christ or not, one day. We will be in front and we will be judged. Amen. We will be accountable of mm -hmm. our choices. Amen. So to answer the question, why God allow people to go to hell? God never wants anyone to be perished. 
Remember John 3.16 For God so loved the world That He gave His one and only Son That whoever believes in Him Will not perish but have eternal life Hallelujah. Jesus Christ Himself he, he said in John 14 verse 3 That He will prepare a place for us Amen. Look, look at the difference Satan expanding hell because of the sin of man. But Jesus Christ came here to tell you and me and around the world, hey, you know what? I'm preparing a place for you. Yes, what is your choice? Believe in Jesus Christ or reject the, reject the truth that Jesus Christ is the answer? I'm going to give a, an illustration here so that we will understand. Amen? Amen. Would you think that it will be a great place to live, your house, if you invited a murderer, if you invited somebody inside the house, what it will be? Do you think your family members will be safe? No. Either. No. It's the same thing with our Heavenly Father. Remember this. He created hell. It's necessity. So that you and I, those people who choose God to serve, to serve the Lord, to serve Him in spirit and in truth, will be saved. Remember in His Word, in Revelation 21 verse 4, no more tears, no more pain. Now imagine this, if God will allow all the disobedient people, all those people who rejected the truth, He allowed to go to heaven. Do you think there will be no more tears? and no more pain no mm -hmm. that's why he preserved that beautiful place that called heaven amen. only for those people who serve the lord Hallelujah. in spirit and in truth amen as a conclusion god didn't create hell for mankind but it is necessary for satan and the fallen angels god's love is so pure that gives all human being a choice what choice are we going to make? What path do we going, are we going to take? Now is the time for salvation. Hallelujah. Let Jesus Christ be the master of our life. Amen. He is the savior of our soul. He is our good shepherd that Amen. lead us to the right path. And that's our Bible study. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. Lord.